so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pug in a mug. So you will need a hot glue gun to mix the grip and the handle, brown clay, peach clay, and the color of your choice. I chose blue. So I put something underneath so the hot glue gun won't get stuck to the ground and so nothing will get stuck to the ground really. First step. First step is to make how big of a mug you want. First you, first you have to roll it. First you have to roll it. And then you kind of squeeze it more down. You roll until you like the shape. Now I've rolled it into the size I want. Second step is to make a head. And the only thing you have to do is roll it into a ball of the size that you want. One. Third step is to stick the head to the mug. Okay, the next step is is to pinch the sides. Until you like it. You can see on this one. That I kind of pinched the sides a little bit. Until you like it. I'll be back once I'm done. The next step is to make the paws. First you're going to want to take a tiny piece of peach clay. Roll it into a line. Until you like it. I like it like this, pretty long, so I can stick it underneath the head a little bit, and then I can attach it to the cup a little bit, too. So far, this is how it's going. I just attached the paws. Just use your nail and kind of attach it with your nail, or if you have a special tool to do that, or if you want to use water, you can. Next step is to take a little bit of brown, roll it up into kind of line shape and then you squish it you can either keep it like that or pinch the end until it kind of looks like a mustache second next step is, is to attach it to the face this is how it should be looking next step is to mix the ears take a little bit of brown Make a thick line and then attach it to something. And then you squeeze one part but not the other. And then you can attach it to the head. If you want it to be less thick then you can, and more wider, then you can just kind of push it more down. Then you just repeat that again. That's how it should be looking. Next step is the eyes. You take very little bit of black, split that in half. And then you roll it into a circle with your two fingers until it looks good. And then you can attach it to your your pug in the mugs. If you want, you can put it in the oven already. Well, you have to put it in the oven already and then you can attach, after you're done with the oven, you can attach a handle if you want. I'm gonna do it so I can show y'all. You put it to bake, or if it's air dry clay, wait about five days, or just a week, or maybe one day. I'll be right back once I'm done baking it. As you're waiting, you can just get the hot glue gun, and you're gonna wanna take your flat surface that you put down. You can do this step right now, or easy, you can wait until it bakes, but I'm gonna do this step right now. You're just gonna wanna take your hot glue gun. You're gonna wanna touch it, and then you're gonna wanna make a kind of like U. Either you can make a like that kind of, but I'm gonna make mine smaller, so I'll be back once I'm done. Wait till it dries, but this is optional. You can make it on wood, or either you can wait till it bakes so you don't have to peel it off, but right now I'm just waiting for it to dry. It doesn't take that long. It only takes like a few seconds. And then you can peel it off. Be careful just not to rip it. This can sometimes be satisfying if it peels off nicely. But it can be not that good if it peels off really rough and it ends up 
Terry, which then you would have to do it again, or either you can hot glue it back together. And there it is. It's optional if you want it to be curved or like a V. Mine ripped, so I had to hot glue it back together. That's why it's kind of clumpy, but it's okay. You can kind of round it more up once you attach it to your pug. But right now, I'm going to wait until my pug's done. So, I'll be back. I would recommend using Sculpey clay because it never dries out. And if it starts getting hard, all you need to do is add baby oil or either add water if it's not so dry. And then it wouldn't dry out. But that's the specific clay I'm using. But it's okay if you want to use air dry clay or any type of clay, really. But with any type of clay, if you add baby oil to it, it, it can come back together. I'm not sure about different places. If you live in a different place, like in China, if the clay that you have is able to add baby oil when it gets fixed. But that's just something to help if your clay is drying out. Okay, I'll be right back this time. I won't. Right now, I'm still waiting. My play takes about 15 minutes to dry, so bye. So now, my pug is done baking. Now I'm just going to put him in the fridge so he can cool down faster.